Hello and welcome everyone back to City Skylines. Today, or I guess it's going to be yesterday when this uploads, was the 5th anniversary of City Skylines. So I figured we'd make a city in the shape of a big 5. And I'll talk about the things that I hope they have in the next one because it's coming. I mean, the amount of money they made off this game with like over 10 million copies sold. We know there's a City Skylines coming. A City Skylines 2. But what's going to be in it? Now, I'm not at all offended that I wasn't welcomed to the birthday party where they gave a bunch of YouTubers free copies to hand out. No, not offended at all. I barely play City Skylines, you know? Paradox hasn't contacted me before or anything. But say I was invited, I'd probably uh, be like, wow, guys, you're really cool. So uh, too bad I couldn't tell them. You know, how cool they are. Damn. Really, really missed out on that one, Paradox. You almost had a low-tier YouTuber tell you you were cool. How are you gonna get... Uh, never mind. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, um... Let's actually get to the important thing. So, City Skylines has been out for a while, and there are some frustrating things about it that I really do hope they fix on the next one. And the number one... Thing I'm going to say that needs to be fixed is the traffic simulation and roads So just as we're building these roads, let me tell you exactly what I mean So everyone knows like a highway in real life if we grab I haven't unlocked highways yet But if we've got a road that's going straight Right, let's say this is our highway and then we have another Lane that's gonna merge into it right specifically for a highway if we have a row that's going into the highway like this, I mean, this is already showing an issue, but the problem is this is not what happens. This here would be connected all the way down and it would have another lane here so that the car has plenty of time to switch to one of the primary lanes. The fact that we need to make intersections on highways means everything is just kind of, kind of annoying. So. There, there's my road rant. That that really does need to be fixed. I don't know how they'll do it. It'll probably be, be some very complicated node magic or something. And this game already uses some of the fanciest, fanciest uh, systems uh, I've seen in video games. I mean, like, the water physics, absolutely beautiful. Um, that doesn't have to change. I'm completely happy with the water physics. Uh, but there's some other things, too. For example, when we think about the simulation and quality when it comes to people, we do have some scaling issues. And uh, there's always going to be scaling issues, but I'm hoping that the next version is able to pump out a little bit more performance. Because honestly, once you hit the like 100,000 population point, things just get nasty. Like, no, no offense to the person who's optimizing City Skylines for their job, and they're just like, oh my god, how do you expect me to optimize these millions and millions of people? Uh, okay, fair enough. But still, uh, there is a problem when, you know, we start getting to the hundreds of thousands, and then the city becomes basically unplayable because of FPS issues and such. And I know that that is going to just happen no matter what when you have a large enough game but there are some things that i th i'm pretty sure it could be done to improve it and um honestly traffic simulation is like the number one thing everyone complains about so if if they just did that oh my god i may have actually lost already by forgetting that i need to do actual actual things other than just drawing a giant five but don't worry i can save this Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um, something I will say that I really hope they do in the next version of City Skylines is I know they won't because it leaves their code a little bit more open to the public, but I hope they expose more APIs. Right now, modding City Skylines, um, it, it can get kind of difficult to do anything that goes really far like the disasters mods and stuff and like when i was working on my offshoot and when i was working on my twitch integration i actually had to get a plug in um it, i forgot the name but it lets you modify the byte code and if you're a programmer you'll know what that means but basically 
City Skylines, the API that actually lets you modify things, it's very limited. Um, not as limited as some games, like some games just give you like... <laughs> oh my god, there's some games that give you a, uh, like, you're able to modify JSON, like Minecraft data packs, basically, that's where they want to go, because it's so easy. It's so easy to do it, anyone can do it really, but that is not the direction I want them to go, and I want them to open up more APIs and make it so that we can override more methods to really, really mod. Like, I want to see Hearts of Iron 4 level modding in this because there's so many different systems in the game that could be improved by modders, and unfortunately we're stuck with mods that only really touch upon a few topics like disasters, roads, uh, moving the camera so you can get cool camera angles and those are all nice and good it's just you know we can do better if you give us give us a little bit more rope we can really pull the game in a good direction but I, I get it nobody wants to open up their source um, you risk people stealing a lot of code in that case and, and that's fair but at the same time, do something like, uh, actually, you know, I think Kerbal Space Program actually has a really similar system. K Kerbal Space Program is kind of limited in, in the same way. You, you can do amazing things. It's just very challenging because you have to basically um, do things the hard way with bytecode and with reflection rather than just extending and overriding things so i don't know maybe they will find a really cool way to do that and maybe i'm being a little dramatic i mean there are some amazing things that these skylines does like once again these nodes absolutely beautiful the smoothing the the way that the roads connect ignoring that one highway lane thing it is actually uh honestly when i look at this stuff i especially as someone who programs in my free time i'm like wow Look at that. Each one of these nodes and that road just comes out perfect. The way the lanes connect and bend, it all looks really damn good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Oofer wow subscribed. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you, Tony Rose, for hosting me. Anyways, <clears throat> when it comes to city skylines, there's a lot of things that we can certainly improve. Um and try to think of some more things. I, I know someone from Paradox, likely, although they have watched my stuff in the past and commented on it. I have a guy on Discord who hasn't talked to me in forever. Um, there are things that really should be fixed for the next... Oh! Massive one. Massive. This is actually one thing that I think would make the game so much more fun. It would be really challenging to do for them, but they've had five years now, so they may actually be working on this in the background. If they were to get the, uh, in Sim City, you, once again, I really screwed that up. It's okay, we can take out a loan. <laughs> My life philosophy. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay if we overspent. We can just take out a few more loans. Um, <clears throat> Anyways, when it comes to uh, multiplayer, I don't expect a full multiplayer in a City Skylines game. It would be too hard to sync everything. It, you could do it, but it would be really damn hard. And you know what? We don't really expect that out of City Skylines. At least I don't. I don't expect multiplayer in a city building game. But how SimCity did it with having regions where your cities can interact with each other... That is how it should be. Honestly, that was a fantastic... SimCity had so many problems with it. So many problems. But that one feature made it worth playing. I remember playing with my cousin, and I would import criminals to his city. <laughs> and it was just fun! It was like, he was like, Sp Kobe, you gotta lower the crime rate! You're sending criminals over! And I was like, well, guess what? Build more prisons then! <laughs> Like, that's fun. And you can actually sell resources to each other. Those are honestly features that City Skylines should have. I mean, those are things that should have been there in the beginning, and those are things that should be there um, 
when we get the second one. It, it can be done. SimCity showed it, and I know that there's not much competition in the city building uh, genre. It kind of... City Skylines absolutely blew the competition away, which is why that's what we all play now. Some people still play SimCity, but they barely exist. But uh, my, my point really is that this is something that really should be done. Um, oh my god, okay, and I should really fix this. That was a bad idea. Okay, I've got a plan, though. I have a plan. Okay, it involves not doing that, and instead... Going back further. God, okay. You know it's a good road building system when you can screw it up 800 different ways. Yeah, I also, one of the things I've always really liked about City Skylines is there's a lot more choice than uh, SimCity ever had. SimCity, when it came to things like, uh... Ooh, what's a good example? Uh, yeah, like power lines. Power lines. You, you couldn't just choose where your power lines went. It, everything went through the road. The water went through the road. The power lines went through the road. You couldn't modify the rivers and stuff. Those are ways that City Skylines really does when it, when it comes to choice. You have the choice to expand your city so big your computer will explode. Uh, SimCity locked it down because they did. Nobody really knows why. A lot of people think it's because of server load, and that's a, one of the things with multiplayer. You gotta worry about server load. But again, you don't even have to have, like, I don't even want to... I would love to, but I don't need a city skylines where we have view of the other person's city. But just seeing the effects of their city on yours, pretending you're next to each other in a region... Little things, having the mayor of the other city come and drive around. Not like in reality, but it looks like they are. Those details are huge. It's really immersive. And I, I really, again, SimCity, not a great game. Well, it, it was a good game until City Skylines came out and absolutely whooped it. Um, but that is something that I 100% would like to see out of City Skylines. That would be a massive upgrade. I mean, I would have so much fun making a region for subscribers and having you guys plop your cities all around and they could all interact. It would it would just be a lot of fun. Um, you know, one person's having a disaster, another person sends ambulances and stuff over that. Those little interactions would do a lot. Um, so, those are honestly my biggest points. The roads and multiplayer for the next one. Honestly, there's so much they could improve with those. Um, a lot of things have to do with the simulation scaling, though. Like, mass transit and stuff. You can only have too many people going into a train or something before it'll get laggy. So, hopefully with... Especially because uh, City Skyline's built in Unity. And Unity has this new entity component system, which works really well with a lot of objects that are the same. And so city skylines, vehicles, buildings, people could all use that system and we could actually see massive speed increases. So I really hope, I really do hope they're using the entity component system um, for the next city skylines. And if they are, I hope it works really well for them. That, that would actually be extremely exciting. Um, not gonna lie, that would uh, probably create, like, an insane amount of extra performance um, that we don't even expect. I wonder if I can just, like, make a dirt road here to give the five an easier time or if it'll look dumb. Still kind of looks like a five, but no. Nah, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that, we're the five gang. We're not destroying the five we've worked so hard to build. Hmm, okay, let's give the five fire department. Yeah. Do you guys have any ideas? I mean, I'm. there's a lot I probably haven't touched on that I've thought about throughout time, but it's, it's kinda hard to bring everything up at um 
one time. Wow, this is a really good looking five. Honestly, this probably looks better than 90% of my cities. I'm actually surprised it went so... Oh, the way tunnels and stuff work, yeah. No, 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 I agree. A lot of things with, like, in bridges as well, I wish there was a little bit more control. Um, because you can control bridges. Also, these, these, all these roads should be default. This shouldn't be a mod. These should all be in city skylines. Um, but, like, when it comes to these, yeah, it's awkward. It would be really nice if after these are placed, without a mod, we could actually modify, like, the size of the bridges and stuff and make it kind of, you know... There's a little bit more control when it comes to the roads. Honestly, like, Traffic Manager present edition and stuff is great. And I'm very happy that they added the update uh, where you can click on the name of a street. Although it seems like I can't right now. I don't know why. Okay, thanks City Skylines. Uh, good, 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 great. Oh, probably because I have Traffic Manager on. They probably disabled it for that, yeah, but... Being able to control things like this is just so convenient. The lanes and stuff, um... <clears throat> we'll see how that goes. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm giving suggestions for City Skylines, too. I mean... Do I expect them to do all these things? No. But I think you guys can agree that these are things that should be fixed for a second iteration of the game. Um, I really hope it's not just like a graphical overhaul that makes it shinier. Uh, because SimCity was really shiny. It just lacked in every gameplay department. It really did. But it, it looked fantastic. Actually, SimCity was the reason I got a better computer. My first computer I built, it was because that game just... I could never play it with reflections and stuff, and the game looked so good with them. Oh! Oh, massive thing! Massive thing that I would like in City Skylines. These buildings... These buildings... Paradox has not confirmed City Skylines 2 as far as I know, but it's going to happen. Oh, we already know. With over 10 million copies sold, uh, Paradox isn't just what they're at hearts of iron 4 europa all of their games they make sequels when they're successful I, even some of their very minorly successful games are still making sequels i, I can guarantee you there's a city skylines 2 coming out it, it's gonna happen but anyways the last the last point i'll touch upon is building size these four by four buildings should not be the maximum size in a city building game. I I think that if they really want to make a realistic city building game, we need bigger buildings. The largest building you can have in city skylines is about the size of like a large apartment building. But like we should have like Empire State building size, like SimCity 2000 and stuff. Uh, there's there's really I don't know why there was an oversight there with that. I. I really do think it was uh, actually a very similar issue in... Actually, no! Sim SimCity actually is better in this manner because I remember some of the factories and stuff in SimCity and some of the buildings could get very, very large, actually. Um, but I'm going to say that these buildings, they're a little small. And I, I don't think it would take that much work to make the grid system work on a larger scale. Just push it back like four more if there's space and make like a eight by eight building type honestly just that would make so many people happy and that's actually something that a lot of people talk about on the uh, subreddit is the building size it's actually one of the very commonly asked questions how do i get bigger buildings um that would be actually fantastic if they went ahead and gave us that i mean I, I'm probably talking about things they already know and they've already been working on for like, I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming after like two years of insane success, they probably started talking about the sequel and planning it. Maybe not. Maybe they're happy with what they've got and they aren't going to make a City of Skylines 2. But I really hope they do um the trash pc thing if you have a trash pc if they moved the entity component system in the new unity 
um, they'll be good. The issue is it depends on when they started working on it or if they've started working on it because there's a lot of new technologies that just came out. They may have had early access though because they're like one of the biggest games on the Unity platform, so who knows? So with that, I'm gonna leave you all. Thank you for watching. It's been five years of City Skylines and I've been playing it pretty much since it came out, so that says a lot about me, doesn't it? So, thank you all for watching. I hope you really did enjoy all of my City Skylines content over this time. Paradox, hit me up, man. Giving all these other people copies to hand out. I'd like to hand out copies of City Skylines. Come on. You, you contacted me once. Once. And, and it was great. I was so excited. It really hit me up, honestly. I, I, my, my DMs are open, you know? Things go well, maybe we'll be married in like 10 years. <laughs> Aaron gives strange luck. Or you can hire me. I'm a CS student. I, I program games in my free time. Come on. Come on. And I work specifically in the Unity engine, so... Come, come on. Paradox. I will work for $20 an hour. That, that's that's probably much lower than, than anyone else on your team. That's not high for, like, a professional programmer. <laughs> I'll be your intern. I'll even do it unpaid. Hell, as, as long as it gives me a chance. I'd love to work on a game like this, but now I'm just dreaming. Now I'm just dreaming. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Please, someone from City Skylines. You know Colossal made City Skylines. Yeah, but Paradox is the publisher. So, like, Paradox goes kind of, like, when it comes to the PR and stuff, it's... But you're right, actually, for, for getting hired, I'd have to talk to Colossal, not Paradox. But for anything PR-related, i talk to Paradox, not Colossal. It, it's complicated. They've got a complicated relationship, as far as I'm aware. They did the same thing with, um... Surviving Mars, the, the company Paradox is the publisher, they handle a lot of stuff, and then the uh, company that actually made Surviving Mars uh, actually programs the game. So, Basil Paradox, get in contact with Colossal and tell them. <laughs> oh, whatever. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. And peace out. Also, yeah, coronavirus. We could have pandemics in city skylines, isn't that what we all need?